Hello everybody, this is Dream in the Back 4, round 4 of Group B. This could be the most exciting round in this group. And, for you to understand why, let's have a look at our fight card. Okay, up first we have got Carnotaurus Man looking to make it two wins in a row as they take on Mulberry. Also looking to make it two wins in a row. Then we have Varga going up against Khalid. Storm taking a crack at Echo Fury. And well, if you need any motivation to watch this video, just have a look at our main event of this session. Our current champ, Maastrician 3-0, going up against the 2020 champ, our tournament host, Stranger Gamer. A host looking to bounce back after the first defeat against Mulberry. But, we're saving that win for last, because we got three matches to go through first, so let's start with match number one. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Carnotaurus Man, we have got Super Despletosaurus, Awaken Mode on three. Um, and we are in the Alpha Arena, which is good news if you're Mulberry. Because they do have that Alpha Chasmosaurus in second, so they'll get terrain advantage here. Right, in the blue corner for Mulberry, we got Papasaurus. Papasaurus was very impressive for Mulberry in round 3, as they got their, their first ever win of the tournament against our gracious hosts. <laughs> and a win here would really thrust them up the table. In fact, a win for either of our guys could thrust them up the table. Both of these two sitting at one and two. Oh, that's not good. Not a good start for Mulberry, but good start if you're Carnotaurus Man. Big firebomb off the bat. Carnotaurus Man leading off with a bang. Oh, wow, that was decent damage. Ooh, but Mulberry responds with a shot of their own. Let's not forget, they did get hit for the Metal Wing right away in round three, and they bounced back very well. That's a tie. Ooh, and that's a crit from Papasaurus. But that's Petasaurus. We'll get the Awaken Mode here. So we'll see how this plays out. Now, a tie would be very good for Carnotaurus Man. Actually, no, it won't, because the Chasmosaurus gets terrain advantage anyway. But he gets the hit anyway. Magma Blaster coming in here. Boosh. Big shot from Carnotaurus Man, and that's going to be all she wrote for Papasaurus. But, coming in next for Mulberry, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus with terrain advantage. So Mulberry will get the next hit, and that probably will be lethal for, Chas for the uh, Despletosaurus. So, after everything said and done, we are level packing in this match. And yep, there it is. Down goes this Pletosaurus. Right, coming in next for Carnotaurus Man, we have got Pachyrhinosaurus. We've got a crash of lightning dinosaurs by the looks of it. Dun, 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 dun. Now that lightning strike will do a little bit extra damage, but I do believe this Packy Rider Source is for over time. Ooh, but it's Chasmosaurus getting that banana surprise. Quite a popular move in this tournament, actually. A lot of teams using it. Oh, that's another banana surprise. Mulberry taking the lead. Ding. Can Carnotaurus Man get a hit here? Rally back with his Pachyrhinosaurus. That's a tie. Oh, that's crit's going to do it. The Garden Spark's going to knock out the Pachyrhinosaurus. And Carnotaurus Man is going to be run down to their last dinosaur. And suddenly, Mulberry has a sizable lead in this match. Right, coming in third for Carnotaurus Man, we've got Ace Dinotech that we won't count them out yet because we have seen how big of a factor Dinotech can be in this tournament. And one ultimate win can definitely win this match for Carnotaurus Man. Oh, that's a 
high. He needs to get past this Gasmosaurus because it's looking strong. And that's another banana surprise. Can Mulberry get the bonus point win? Well, they were very unlucky not to get the bonus point win in round three. By virtue of the fact that the Gasmosaurus died. Oh, look at that! Massive hit from Mulberry. And Carnotaurus Man is in big trouble now. Wow, I wasn't expecting that lightning axe. Where did that come from? And look at this, it's Mulberry's victory. Well, after a pretty even start, Mulberry pulls away with a Casmosaurus and gets the bonus point win. How much confidence did that win in round three give them? A lot, me thinks. Right, on to our second match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Varga, we have got Torvosaurus. Ooh, good field for Varga this will be. Very good field. That top Torvosaurus will get terrain advantage, and it will start with a crypt. But in the blue corner for Khalid, we have got Shantungasaurus. Well, both of these guys sitting at um, 1 and 2 at the minute, but Khalid has had by far the tougher start in facing both our hosts and Maastrichtian. And they had to take on 2-0 and uh, Echo Fury as well. Well, they were 2-0 and until Khalid won. So yeah, they've had a really tough start. But, you know, being 1 and 2, I think they would have taken that at this point of the group stage. But it is Varga getting the first shot of the match. Technique boost there. We'll see some Vault Burst. No, we won't. Ooh, Tornosaurus getting the next hit on the board. It's got Heat Eruption as well, mine, so Ties will probably favour it. Here comes the Vault Burst. It's a fiery start so far from Varga. Oh, that's another hit! Khalid yet to struggle to get going here, and that Volcano Burst will finish the shant. Not a good start for Khalid, but a very good start for Varga. Right, coming in next for Khalid, we have got Tajongasaurus. Now this Tajongasaurus, another heavy hitting crit. That Rock Roller will do loads of damage. But you gotta get hits to get the crates. And so far, all the hits have belonged to Varga. Okay, there's a tie at least. But that could trigger the heat eruption, so Khalid's gotta be really careful. And there's a hit! It's an ACT rocket. Well, it's gonna do damage eventually. So it is a hit. But it might not be yet. Let's have a look. Oh, it's going to come down straight away. And a good shot there from Khalid. Needed that hit. Oh, I needed this rock roller as well. Massive hit from Tajongosaurus. That's going to be curtains for Tajongosaurus, I should say. Massive hit from Tajongosaurus. Well, that's the benefit of having big crits. They hit really hard. Now, coming in next for Virga, we got Joboria. Now, this Joboria is heroic type, and that crit will do a decent amount of damage. Not as much damage as a certain someone's Joboria, but it'll do some damage. So Khalid will have to be careful of that. But that was a massive crit that pretty much evens the score. Even though Varga has got more shots in this match. It's what you do with those hits that count. Oh, that's a Futaba cannon though. Varga re-establishing his control in this match. A very skinny flat head. 
Oh, that's a tie. Is that going to do it for Tijongasaurus? No, it won't. But that tie will do it. And Varga retaking the lead and regaining the momentum in this match. Oh, you know, coming in third for Khalid, we have got a Margosaurus. Surprisingly, the only one in this tournament. And they had a little bit of a, re of a surge in uh, popularity last year. Only because the year prior to that, Diddy Darius had one in his team when he won. But we're only seeing one this year. Well, can it get Khalid back in this contest? You know, they were able to do it with a Tijongasaurus, but this is looking good for Varga. Okay, there's a hit. Can they get the Shockwave? That'll really help. Ah, they didn't get it. And I should point out, this Jorboria does have Dino stuff. Up. So that's going to be a problem for Khalid there. Who is heavily reliant on getting big crits. But the big hits at the minute are belonging to Varga. Oh, the tie. Can Khalid save something? Oh, he gets a hit. Oh, it's the uh, Alpha Trooper dude. Press the buttons, press them fast. Because he's going to swing the Joe Boria round and round like a record player. Why is it so tiny? I know Joe Boria is one of the bigger sauropods in this game. Ooh, Aqua Vortex getting triggered. Shockwave does get triggered. Hmm. So it's 50 50. Yeah, yeah it's 50 50. Either Khalid gets this hit, or Varga gets the hit and gets the bonus point. And it is the latter. It's going to be a bonus point victory for Varga, courtesy of the Aqua Vortex. Interesting there, because without Aqua Vortex, it would have been a normal win. But with it, it's a bonus point win. And a fine win for Varga there. Going two and two. Right then, on to our third match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Storm, we've got Super Rajasaurus. Well, Storm can't go in into this round sitting bottom of the table, but given some of the uh, previous results, a win here would really help them. And to be honest, I don't think they've done too bad. They had a very good showing against the champ in round one, and they got the win against Varga. But in the blue corner for Echo Fury, we've got Alpha Allosaurus. Echo Fury tasting their first defeat in uh, round three against Carnotaurus Man. Oh, no, it wasn't Carnotaurus Man. It was against Khalid. Sorry. So many matches. <laughs> but yeah, with, with the main event coming up after this, a good chance here for Echo Fury to get a win here. Take advantage of the fact that the other, that the top two gotta play each other. Right, that's one. So wait, can on three. Oh, there goes the rocket. Hit on six. Oh, massive hit from the Raj. I mean, it's got death fire as well, but with the type advantage, I don't think he's gonna need it. Ty. An even start so far. Ooh, and is Allosaurus getting the next hit? Alpha Allosaurus, that is. A ninja attack coming in. This is a good start from Echo Fury so far. I think the Rad should survive, and it does. And it triggers the death fire, but... Well, that's irrelevant because it's awakening time anyway. Well, let's see if he can get this hit. It's going to be a death fire, whatever hit he gets. Oh, and he does get the hit. It's going to be a death fire, which is going to be a knockout for the Alice, for the Rajasaurus. And Alpha Allosaurus is going to feel the heat big time. Again, even if he got the, uh, even if he didn't get the death fire, that hit probably would have been lethal anyway. More for style. 
Right, coming in next for Echo Fury, we have got Super Despeatosaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Yes, the Awaken Mode could be a big factor in this match, and both our guys do have Dino Tectors in third. Spiny Tector for Echo Fury, and Maximus for Storm. Right, that tile finish off the Raj, and we are pretty much level pecking. Right, coming in next for Storm, we have got the Super Carnotaurus. Now, the rules are reversed here because now Storm has the type disadvantage. So I'd say Echo Fury did well dealing with the Rajasaurus, even though it did get killed, the Alpha Alos did get killed by the Death Fire. You know, the deficits, well, you can't really call it a deficit. Ooh, but it is the Carnotaurus getting the next hit. That's a crit block, I believe. That could be big. Right, that's uh, once each. Both of them have the Awaken Mode on three. Okay, so that's paper. Okay, they get the tie. Another tie. Ooh, but that's a big crit from Despletosaurus. A Venom Fan coming in. Massive hit from Echo Fury. Oh no, he spattered him. Right, that's twice each, so it'd be awakening time. And if both of these two guys survive, I, which I hope they will. Oh, the Kano's not going to survive. The Venom Fang is going to finish the job. And that is good news for Echo Fury. It gives them a chance to hit the Maximus with the awakened Despletosaurus. If the Despletosaurus survives. Which, it, based on its health, it looks like it probably will be able to tank a hit. Oh, could that be a big moment in this match? Right, coming in third for Storm, we've got Maximus Spectral Armor. And yeah, based on those moves, I think Maximus won't be able to finish the Carn the uh, Despletosaurus off in time for the Awaken Mode. Unless it gets a couple of ties and then a hit. Then it will be able to. Oh, there's a Venom Fang! Well, the poison really causing problems for Storm here. Maximus is going to feel it too. Oh, jeez, that was a lot of damage. And now, what a chance for Echo Fury here. Uh, any hit will probably get them the bonus point. Oh, they get the Venom. Of course they get the Venom Fang. Four Venom Fangs. The Pianitsky Saur has been an absolute pest for Storm. And it is going to be Echo Fury's victory. And it's a bonus point victory. And that does put pressure on the top two going into our main event. And speaking of that main event, it's up next. So grab your popcorn because this one's going to be a belter. Ooh, okay, we're in the Alpha Arena for this one. Okay, in the red corner for our champ, Maastrician, we got Omega Eokarkiria. Well, Maastrician's been in ominous form so far in this tournament. Three out of three. With two pretty convincing wins as well. In the blue corner, for our host, Stranger Gamer, we have got Sinteosaurus. Well, our host also enjoyed a decent start to the tournament, despite losing in round three. Looking to bounce back in style, and what a way to bounce back if they can upset the champ. Well, <laughs> this is going to be a tough match. Now, I think with the armor and the blitz, Maastrician does have the upper hand, but, you know, we've seen what can happen. It's a tie. This Eokark here has been a dominant force for Maastrician, but... Okay, there's a first hit there from Sintelsaurus. Our host's getting off to the good start. Elemental power activate in there, but... It won't be too effective against this Eokark area. Okay, there's another hit. But the elemental power does buff the metal wing. And people do forget that. 
a good start for Naho so far. Oh, that's another hit on the board. And that's going to trigger the defense boost. But the Papasaurus is coming in for the tag team. Do I still get the defense boost? Yeah! The defense boost activating it. This has been a good start from the host so far. Ooh, but there's the first hit of the match from Maastrician. The light recovery coming. The tappy jara dive coming. Not much damage dealt though. The, the Sinteosaurus has been allowed to build up resilience. But wow, look at that. One hit. And we're pretty much level packet. Oh, that's another hit. A tappy jara dive coming. But you have to say, the Sintel Source has shown impressive resilience. Oh, but that's another hit. And that tappy jara dive is going to seal Sintel Source's fate. And despite a. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> And despite a good start from the hosts, they are playing catch-up. Right, coming in next for Stranger Gamer, we have got the Mega Raptor. Well, if ever there's a time for this Mega Raptor to, to perform, it is now. Now, what's interesting is if it gets the Spinosaurus, it will go for the two crits. And that could play into Mega Raptor's hands here. But we've got Eokarkira to deal with first. And that bar is worryingly filling up. Ooh, is a hit. A tie bomb coming in. It's, they're getting hits, but there's no big hits. And this Eokarkira is able to tank them. A cyclone will definitely help out. And in fact, our host has got more hits in this match than Maastrician. Maastrician is in the lead. And it's a quite decent lead, but that is more like it. The tie bomb coming in. The cyclone's going to allow the crit to happen. And finish the Eokarkiria off. And Maastrician's lead is gone. But coming in next for them, we have got the Blitz-type Spinosaurus. So you know what that means? It's going for two crits. Now again, if I think if our host gets one crit here, it's going to really cripple the Spino. And actually, because of the crit block, if it does remove the crit, I won't do the blitz thing. Because, well, I can't do it, can I? I'll wait till the crit comes back. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, that's not what Maastrician wants. But that's exactly what our hosts want. A massive crit. A crit block's going to come in. And a tie bomb. The blitz effect backfiring big time for Maastrician. And that means we will be going for Pink Sidars. Ah, oh, you can't go rock. But you can go scissors. And the tie bomb will go off. That was a massive hit from the host. Ooh, but Maastrician getting a crit of his own. I have to say, this has been a very... This has been an interesting match so far. Our host, Stranger Gamer, has probably landed more shots in this match. But, we are neck and neck. And in fact, this Aqua Javelin is going to put Maastrician in the lead again. That was a massive crit there. This is much better than our first match last year. That was awful. And the Mega Raptor does go down. Right, coming in food for our host Stranger Gamer, we got the Arhinoceratops. Well, it got some counter blitz off, but it didn't really perform. So we're hoping it'll do better here, and it's gonna need to perform to get past this Spinosaurus. Now it will have type advantage, and one hit probably will finish the Spino off. Now, the saving grace is that even though Tarkia comes in next, it doesn't have Earth moves. So there'll be no type advantage there for Master Ishii. Oh, that's another hit. The tech boost coming in. Probably going to see Aqua Javelin. 
another Aqua Javelin. Has Maastrician finally turned the screw in this match? God, all right, Ceratops, you can do it. Okay, there's a tie, but that's not what they want. Another tie. Oh, come on, Spino should take more damage than that. Okay, this tie will finish the Spino off, but look at the Arena Ceratops' HP. Right, coming in food for Maastrician. We got Tarkian. Well, we haven't seen this thing at all. We saw it once against Storm, but it had the terrain advantage, so it got the hit and won anyway. But we have yet to see what this guy can do. And one hit from it will win this match for Maastrician. Well, I think the hits have probably evened out a bit now. Oh, that's a tight. Can't afford another tie. Oh, there's a crit, but the... Oh, come on. <laughs> the dino stuff is going to stop it. I needed that crit. Do I at least get the attack boost? Nope. Oh, that could be crucial. Yeah, crucial, because it denied me a losing bonus point. And it's Maastrician's victory. And they get the win in a tense main event. As they go 4-0. and And, well, a really good fight from our host. But they just couldn't get those big hits. They got one, and that was it. It was more like chip hits. But yeah, another fine victory from the champ. Right, let's have a look how Group B stands so we can end the session. Well, that's Group B, ladies and gentlemen. We have Maastrician top 4 out of 4 on 14 points. And yeah, that's probably going to see them through the knockout rounds now. One win will do it for certain, but four wins will be enough. With the two bonus points as well. And we have Echo Fury climbing up to second with three wins on 10 points. Then we have Mulberry on eight points. Really surged up the table. Our host Stranger Gamer dropping down into fourth. Well, joint fourth with Varga on seven points. Then we have Khalid and Carnotaurus Man level on four. And Storm still at the bottom with three. So yeah, Group B is like a pack of rabid animals really going for top four. It's so... Like, it's so open between this lot. At this point, I expect Maastrician to probably pull away and win this group. But you never know. <laughs> they could lose the next three and then finish fourth. But yeah, the champ looking ominous in this tournament. And that is going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.